We're going to be printing on the jerseys Snow Heather Black Ink Colored Tee. We're going to be using a discharge under base with Plastisol ink on top. It lets us have a little bit softer feel without having a thick, blocky Plastisol type print. Hey, did somebody say Snow Heather? There's nothing old about this episode because we're in Youngstown, Ohio, pushing the boundaries with the crew at Gorilla Joe Printing. Gorilla Joe Printing Company is a contract apparel shop specializing in screen print, digital print, and embroidery applications. They're a team of artists, musicians, and creative thinkers that are constantly pushing boundaries to keep their clients coming back time and time again. In this episode, they'll show us that you can discharge on high poly content. They'll flex their know-how muscle to show us how they utilize a discharge underbase with a Plastisol top print on a poly-rich textured garment. Today we're at Gorilla Joe Printing and we're going to learn all about how to use discharge on a Jersey snow weather. Hey Joe, how Tom you Marshall. doing man? Good, how are you? Ready to get busy? Let's ride. So we're with Joe Sudrovic with Gorilla Joe Printing Company. So Joe, tell us about the company. So I started this company 10, 11 years ago, started printing for punk bands. Didn't really know what they was gonna look like, but because they're punk bands, they didn't really care of the quality, luckily, because it was terrible. And I just started buying more equipment with everything I made. Before I knew it, I was quitting my job, printing full-time on the weekends, and throughout the week, it just became what we do today. You know, there's 18 employees here now, four automatics, and we print thousands of shirts a day. And so where does Gorilla Joe come from? When I was in a band, they used to call me a silverback gorilla, because I used to dye my hair black and like, I don't know, it's kind of silly looking, but um, I got a tattoo on my calf of a gorilla head, and it says Brosif underneath it. So I was talking to a big college one day, and they asked me what my company name was, and I didn't have a company name. I, mean, I was just a guy in a house printing shirts out of my basement. So I hung up the phone, pretended like I lost reception, and then I called them back, and I was like tapping my foot, and I looked down at my calf, and I was like, oh, it's Gorilla Joe Printing Company. They're like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it just kind of stuck. And you have a music background that really allows you to align with your key customers, don't you? Playing music and drinking in bars and eating at restaurants was uh, definitely... Uh, That's your background? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so it's a language I speak. You know, you gotta live, you gotta eat to live, you know. But music and uh, everything else really helped me speak the language and it was a super easy transition to kind of say, hey, I print shirts now. And you've got a very eclectic, creative vibe going on here. So talk about how you create that and keep that going. This is an old building, so we can kind of mess it up however we want. We kind of let any employee who wants to paint anything, paint on the walls, just kind of make it their own. And it's just like a giant fun house. Tell us a little bit about your customers. We are mostly contract, but we are a custom print shop too. Most of our contract work is through merch companies and repeatability is super huge for us because if we do a set of shirts, and they reorder right away. If we don't document everything that we did and you, you hold the shirts up next to each other, they're gonna look different. So we document everything as far as even squeegee angles, obviously Pantones. Every single time they reorder, it's the same as before. So tell us about the process that we're gonna do today with the design. This shirt is a really awesome soft shirt. We wanted to build a logo for it that's not super thick. It's not a bunch of ink deposit. It's still gonna hold that integrity of a vintage feel. So we're gonna discharge the underbase. So it's gonna discharge just the cotton portion of the shirt. And then the colors are gonna sit on top. We used high mesh screens to allow less ink deposit and a softer feel. Building a, a logo for this type of print is I think the most important. If you do something that's super, super solid and like tons of colors and stuff, or tons of ink deposit, it's, it's really kind of pointless to do. The darkness of the shirt is dark enough to create the negative effect and have exactly what we wanted to achieve with this shirt. I'm with Trucker Didato here, who is the art director at Gorilla Joe. So Trucker, tell us all about the artwork we're printing today. So this was an image that we had previously had. We hadn't really used it. We were kind of sitting on it for a while, and we decided this was going to be a great opportunity to use the discharge under base and to help really make those colors pop. So originally it was on this monitor. It was just all white, and then we had ended up cropping out the frame and kind of just making it a little bit bigger. That's a little more our style anyway. 
and then adding the pop of flair of each of the colors. And I think the green, the yellow, and the purple really stand out amongst that under base coming through, especially off of that black ink shirt. So we're printing with Discharge today. Is there any particular design things that you have to do to prep the file for production? So typically when we do Discharge, the only real difference I have to do is kind of let our screen guys know this is going to have to be, you know, for a discharge, we have to make sure it's on a certain mesh screen so that way we can get a good layer of discharge down and actually have it onto the garment. But for me, it's mostly just a matter of stepping normally and then just making a note for the production. How does a higher mesh count help with the hand of the shirt after printing? The higher mesh is a lot better because it lets down a thinner layer of ink. So it helps when we have that soft feel already with the discharge in the shirt and then you're letting down those light colors to come over, but instead of it having to be so thick, almost like that bullet vest material that's you know right. used to be in the days of old. But it seems now with the way technology is, you can really get that nice, real thin layer, especially having a discharge under base. Right, and also with the higher mesh, you're able to keep a lot of these pointillism little dots, the stippling effect that you have here, you're able to keep that because you've got a smaller opening with the mesh. Yes, absolutely. And if you're going to give one tip to somebody who wants to do something like this, what would it be? I would say make sure you put the work in, learn mesh counts, learn how everything works, learn Photoshop, learn Illustrator, learn any program you can. I know Corel Draw, a lot of people do use that and that works too, that's a great one. Anything you can get your hands on and then just trial and error, trial and error. I want Jody Hodge, who's the t-shirt goddess slash account manager here at Gorilla Joe. So Jody, what's it like to work here? I love it. It's a lot of fun. I've met a lot of um, interesting people throughout the businesses that we get to work with and music is always good as well. So you guys do a lot of stuff for the music industry with tour merch and stuff. What's that like? It's awesome. We've gotten to do a couple of my uh, favorite bands, so I try to, you know, keep myself down, but um, making sure that everything is perfect for them. Working with bands and other clients, are you helping them make better decisions? Well, sometimes people think they have to go with the bottom of the barrel, so to speak, with um, getting shirts, but we really have some next step ups. There's a lot of great jersey styles and different types that um, of garments that we like to use. So just giving them that option and saying, you know, this is what you had mentioned your needs were, and this is going to give you that soft feel that you're looking for, less boxy, more fitting, depending upon that customer. Right. Looks like you guys wear uh, Gorilla Joe shirts all the time, right? That's right. How, how important is that for your kind of the team kind of feel? Well, it just makes you feel like you belong too. Like you are part of something that's bigger than just your own. So when you come to work, there's a lot of people that work here, all different types of styles. But that's one thing that we can all agree on is that we love what we do and, and we love our design. So we, we, we're, there's no shame in this game when wearing this out. <laughs> I'm with Nate Perry, who's the production manager here at Gorilla Joe. So Nate, sometimes people have a challenge when they're printing on a high poly content shirt with discharge. So how are we gonna tackle that today? Yeah, absolutely. That's been said. It's actually really popular in our industry for people to believe that. But that's really not the case. You can achieve a high quality print on a poly blend using discharge. So what we're doing is we're using a discharge under base and printing plastisol on top of that discharge. And how are we getting that to happen without the poly content migrating into the ink? The biggest challenge is your dryer. So you really have to dial your dryer into the correct temperature as well as the correct speed. Like I said, we're printing a discharge underbase, making sure obviously that that underbase is fully flashed. And we're also making sure that the discharge is slightly activating. And then we're printing plastisol colors, vibrant colors on top of it. I use the high mesh screen. We're using 230s and 280s on this, 230 for the underbase and 280s for the top colors. And I'm using 70, 90, 70 triple durometer squeegees. And what does that achieve? So what it's achieving is a soft feel at the end of the dryer, soft feel on the garment. And that's what we wanted to achieve with this print. But we also wanted the print to be vibrant. So in our industry, a ton of clients want a super soft feel and a, they love the vintage look, right? Super popular. So with us, we like to distress our designs a lot and use the discharge underbase to create that super soft feel. Quick tip to achieve a soft hand feel on your garment, use a higher mesh count like a 230 or a 280. Also use a harder squeegee like a 70, 90, 70 triple durometer or a 90 durometer. So we're running the discharge underbase. We have 
a lot of pressure because you want the discharge to sink through the garment. Then we're flashing, making sure the underbase is dry the whole way. We're also slightly activating the discharge. It's not gonna fully activate until it goes through the dryer. But we're slightly activating it, making sure it's dry. And then we have the green, yellow, and purple sitting on top of the discharge underbase. I have the green on two hits. I'm using 70, 90, 70 triple durometer squeegees. Relatively higher speed. So we're running the green, wet on wet with the orbit yellow. Then we have the yellow to the purple. After the purple, we're flashing, and then we're doing a highlight white, and the highlight white's plastisol. I have the highlight white only on one hit because this is a heavily distressed design, so we don't want it to get all muddy. We want it super crisp and clean. Tip for your dryer or oven, which is the most challenging part of this process, is making sure that the discharge is activating, but the plastisol isn't dye migrating because of the poly. So we're actually running our belt speed a little bit slower than we normally would, so the discharge activates, and our temperature a little bit lower, so the plastisol doesn't dye migrate. So Joe, these Jersey Snow Heather shirts really came out great today. It's like what become one of my favorite shirts since testing it, I'm, I'm really happy with everything. I mean, that's a neon color and it's still neon. It didn't look swampy or anything like that. The green is exactly the green that we used. Same thing with the purple. The discharge under base really let the colors sit on top of it and be what they're supposed to be. What was really amazing today is the fact that you guys worked out how to solve the problem of discharging on a poly cotton blend shirt. You can have different results, but having this high quality of a shirt and finding the correct formula for discharging, it really worked for us. Joe, you know we always have fun together and your team absolutely rocked it today. Thanks, buddy. Absolutely, thanks so much for coming. For more episodes of the Jersey's Adventures in Apparel Decorating Series, please subscribe to the Jersey's YouTube channel. Or die. <laughs> That's great, Joe. <laughs>